In the third video of Chestnut QVT, we will go over the bottom bar interface icons and re edit panel. To the video. So, hello, this is the third video of Chestnut QVT, and in this video, we are going over the interface icons and also the edit panel. We have briefly touched over the edit panel before, but I haven't gone through most of this what's on here and the interface icons is new to us this scene is just a simple test scene just to show you some features of magic voxel so the first thing we want to see is this it's a toggle hint we can toggle the bar pretty simple this is called the hint interface. It gives us hints and helpful tips when we hover over something. So like this, regional select, box select, move. And it gives us the shortcuts. So like with a freestyle camera, it's WASD, Q and E. Snapshot allows us to take a snapshot. So it's here, we just click that and save and we can take a snapshot of our current scene. The console here allows us to type in many commands to which I'm not gonna show here because there's loads. I am going to link down in the description a page for all of these commands aka the magic voxel wiki. This is perspective camera, it's what we've got currently on. We have the free camera we can move it around freely and also move it around with a WASD like flying to the scene off of a gunnel camera I probably butchered that is the like isometric but we can freely move it around without being restricted now like I just said isometric like an isometric scene now I've not got much on my notes here so I'm just gonna go off on a whim this is the edit panel the fill tool allows us to fill the entire scene the fill tool allows us to fill the entire scene with one color delete is pretty self-explanatory we delete everything in our scene Two times we increase the size of our current scene by two. Fit, we can fit the scene in the current bounding box. Inverse, we can invert the scene. Rotate, we can rotate our scene from X, Y and Z. Flip, we can flip from left to right, up and down. Or up and down again loop I have already gone over but to go over again we can move it this way or move it that way same with X and Z scale we can scale it up by say like 2 similar to 2 times but we can control how much we can scale up and down repeat we can repeat by 2 mirror we can mirror our scene on the y axis on the x axis or on the z axis diagonal we can diagonal our scene we can do that if you want shape we can now this is pretty interesting we can insert an ellipsoid which is a sphere type thing. Maybe you could make this a planet. Like colour this in, make it a planet and do multiple of these. Cylinder, we can insert a cylinder, pyramid, con maze type structure or a purling noise which looks kind of Minecraft. -y. Misc is pretty misc hole. Remove all invisible voxels. I've got no invisible voxels. 
flood flood or fill all invisible space random color we can fill it with a party color dilatation I don't know exactly what dilatation is but it's that <laughs> in the road we can avoid our scene similar to delete also beside the edit panel we've got the projects we can click that to minimize it or expand it we've got our scenes here from fox to fox except for mini voxels and main voxels they're mine which I've done in my file paths so Vox is the presets and characters also presets like yeah this little fox character and so yeah that's about it for this chestnut QVT I have gone off on a whim on the edit panel because I didn't note it down but I think I explained it a bit well Check out my channel for new QVTs as I will be continuing this series for a while. Anyway, I'm going to end this year, so that's going to be about it. Have a good day, evening or night or everything in between. Chestnut out.